Let's see. Let's see. There's the old window siding project leftovers that are good. Let's see. Oh, hey, Deb. Let's see what I got in here. Do I have enough? I don't think I do. I'm looking for some some bulbs. Hopefully, I always hope a mouse doesn't come out at you. Like a oh. That's how many uh, power converters I have. The whole door is packed with them. <laughs> so anyway, you never know when you're going to need them. Ooh, nothing jumped out at me yet. There's a oh, the big spider. See the big spider? What do you know, spiders? So here's some tassels hanging down. Hey, I could put those up around the wind. No, let's not do that. Let's see what else? Ugh, cables. So I don't really have any... Uh, Computer fans, ductwork, belts, no mice yet, give it time, solar panels, so I don't have, oh, I know what I used all those on, I used those on Sean's uh, cab lamp on, on the dog soldier, the the big Dodge truck, okay, well, I walked right past where I was, because I was thinking of something I shouldn't have been doing that, let's see what I got here. I think I got a few timers in, of these. I think this would be all I would need for a converter. And I think this has a timer built into it. You can just set the time there. That's a pretty nice, expensive... It's about Christmas time, so I'll be taking those out. I love water heater timers. They're so, they're so robust. So this is one piece of the puzzle for the lights up in the thing. And uh, down here might be a bundle of switches. Look at that. There's an old rheostat right there. Let's see if I've got one that's a little better. Yeah, there's one. Well, there's a nice no, just a switch switch. So there's an old, uh, not too old. It looks pretty doggone good, doesn't it? A uh, little... Uh, Rheostat potentiometer is what we're trying to say there. Uh, oh, there's an old beat up on the, on the ground on it now. Those silly grounds, and I'm doing millions of those little screws. Okay. So, uh, what's over here? That's your more heavier duty electronic stuff clamps. Lamp fixtures. Well, I don't think I'll find much in here. I'm gonna need both hands to get that down. So just stand by a second. Because here you go. Look outside. See the pretty. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. No, nothing much in there. So I gotta get some uh I think they would be your one-piece LED lights. There's not as much in there. There's those real nice 1950s uh, lamps that came off one of the motor graders. They didn't want any more. So put that up. Okay, well, let's ride to the store. And uh, i got to put that on my list. So having this as big, that's by far and away the most expensive things. That's probably $20 or $30. I don't know what these run anymore. But uh, 12 volt AC, cool. And uh, there's the instructions. Ooh, wait a minute, about messed up, didn't I? That's not supposed to be like that. So you're supposed to run that through there, or it'll all blow up. See, you're gonna be in big trouble with a man if you don't run that through there like that. All right, so uh, let's go with it this way. Read installations instructions. Tells you how to cut the wire off. I'll be dinged. Get pussy, don't they? All right, let's go to the, let's go to the right, LED lights. I want those one piece kind. And the ones I had are probably five, ten years old anyway. Probably a bit better to get new ones. And uh, I kind of like the tassel idea though. <laughs> I changed uh, transformers because the other one was just too too big and too complicated. So I've got this wired up to one of the lights. Let's see if see if it can. I hear it ticking. Oh, 
Let it be light, I hope. Yay! And I'm going to try to hook up this rheostat now. Uh, got a feeling that's not going to work. This is not rated for that, but we'll see. I don't know. So we're just going to um, we're going to turn off here and unplug there. Uh, let's make sure so I can turn that little thing. I forgot that little thing right there. So let's put the uh, rheostat in line and see if that works. Doubtful, but that's all I got. I need a 12 volt rheostat. That's Ashley for door. I don't know. It may work. Okay, let's see if this works. So we got the rheostat in there. I think it's in the off position. Let's just turn it around. Probably got to clean out the mechanism anyway. Nope. Nope. Okay, well that's okay. I can sort that out later. Uh, now, the thing to do now is to find a hole saw. Uh, hopefully as big as the outer part there so I can just drill holes in the upper part of that. That's too bad. Uh, run into this before. This, this, it's some it's hit or miss. It's mostly miss. Let's just turn that off too. Alright, let's uh, wire this up, solder it up, and uh, I guess I'm going to go do tile. Hmm. Shame. Shame in this world. Here's a hole saw that'll be just fine. And uh, so that means I can't wire these up till I get up there, but it's okay. Uh, I got to tidy all this up. It's, that's that, that is not, not acceptable right there. So we'll, we'll get that tidied up and uh, weatherproof and all that other stuff. I'm thinking of just sort of getting uh, some kind of plastic cups when I get these in place. You'll see I'm talking about on the upper part of the box window and just sort of uh, sealing them up that way. Uh, Probably just with hot glue or something. Uh, they used to make it too comp complicated. And I got tons of hot glue. So there's my uh, there's my arrangement here. Let's go do the tile work. I'm sick to death of tile work, but I guess that's going to be my running the running gag up there. The running theme is uh, going to be a kind of tile. Like I said earlier, I like it. It's clean. It's easy, and uh, it's fun. So uh, I've been learning how to make pizza crust. I ordered some semolina flour and all that other stuff. That's a whole different topic. But the reason I say that because I'm thinking about dinner. And I have learned. I got the stone and the peel and everything. And I've learned how to do it. So, or learning how to do it. So, it's harder than you think. Pizza, it's a way of life. Okay, I did some preliminary wiring here. Let's see if they both come on. Yay! Okay, well I'll tell you something interesting about these things that I learned a long time ago. Uh, when you go to check voltage on this, it says 12 volt, uh, 120 volts in, 60 hertz, we know that, and the thing turns around 60 times a second. 2.2 uh, .2 amps out max. Out 12 volts, uh, 200 watt max. But that 12 volts, if you go to DC voltage, that's DC voltage right there by the way, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but uh, maybe across the streams. If you uh, if you put a meter on 12 volt DC, you get zilch, at least on this fluke meter. So, but if you put uh, 12 volts, that little thing right there means uh, AC. You will get you will get a little over 12 volt. Depends on what kind of load you got on it, but. You look at that C, 12.85, and that's on AC. So uh, if you're checking this, through, I know I know you can tell it's working because the lights are on, but uh, that's not what I'm talking about. Let's just say you're down the line, and you might have uh, chopped up the uh, somebody. Um, oh, uh -oh, that's not good. That don't turn off. Oh, that might be an always on thing. Uh, you're down the line. And uh, in your yard, and this thing's, you know, uh, 18 bushes away, and you're checking to get, uh, see if you got voltage because you got a lights out and you can't get it come back on again to see if the line's rotten or broken or whatever. If you check that line, you better, you better use both AC and DC and uh, just to make sure that you don't get a false negative and go dig up all your line and find out that that wasn't it. Uh, 
it could be, it could be the transformer in here. It could be a lot of things. But that's a weird anomaly in these things is uh, these things right here. I don't know how true it is anymore. But uh, yes, sir, that'll that'll sure that'll sure mess up your day, pulling up you know 50 feet of of this wire and finding out you just had your meter set wrong because of the way this thing outputs. Just a just a little sideline. Uh, odd facts known by a few. <laughs> 12 volt. I got to get a 12 volt uh, dimmer. I do want to put a dimmer on that. I, dimmers are interesting things. You know, you're not really dimming it. You're just turning it into heat. So that's if you ever take a FLIR and look in your wall if you're running a dimmer at half speed, you'll find these things get pretty hot. And uh, so, anyway, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. If it looks okay, I'll be okay. So let's see, I got my whole saw in my back pocket. Got to be careful sitting down doing things like that. Let's go up and do some dang tile work. Let's get out of here, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to put these things in here because I just want to see them tonight. So I've got an extension cord in here. I usually keep one around. There it is. That's a good one, too. I like them kind of ends unless you're about to do what I'm about to do. Sometimes that can be a problem. Oh. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to uh, mark here. I'm probably going to take that blind down make things a little easier. And uh, we are going to uh, mark our holes, drill our holes, get the AccuVac out, and uh, put them lights in. My guess is it'll take me 20 minutes or less. So this is what we got. We're going to... I left that green because I didn't figure anybody would... <sighs> oh, excuse me. Let's close this thing now. I know that looks dumb, but it's all I could do. So, uh, door stop and everything. I don't remember if I showed y'all all of this. So, uh, and distilling water and all kinds of stuff. Oops, I don't know what that was. Stuff. Stuff out of the driveway. So, so here we are. We are going to come up here. And I have to keep in mind that I've got this here. So, because that's a pretty big, I don't know if you, you can tell it, that's a pretty big piece of wood. So, I'm going to mark it. I'm probably just going to go ahead and drill them. I can use these as marks. So, maybe just one like here, a little bit off that mark, and one like there. I don't know. Let's see, that's eight and a half, two, three, four. So, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good to me. So, we're on that mutton. Or whatever they call the dividers, whatever they call them, in there. So I think we'll drill them from the outside, and then we'll uh, we'll break out the duct tape and hold them up, and then get the hot glue going and all that stuff. So let's go, let's have some fun. Okay, I've learned how to take them blinds down for sure. So here is uh, that, and here is Benny, and. Uh, there's my extension cord, such as it is, and I'm glad I thought to do this from the outside first, because we, uh, that's a great household drill, not a, not a sponsor. It ain't, boy, it's cheap, but I use it to raise and lower my blinds and stuff around here. It's pretty easy. So let's get, uh, let me get, let me get this thing on here. Ugh. Okay, so it's nice and clean on my tile in there, but it ain't going to be true in a minute. So I'm all locked in on my ladder, locked and loaded, and uh, here we go. So we're looking at this mutton here, and so I kind of want to get as close to that as I can. Okay, I know you think I'm crazy. Crazy like a fox. So here we go. That's a snappy uh, hole saw, so it won't take it long. Cuts through German steel like butter.
there you go. So uh, you can see where it rained, little dust particles there, but there you go. Okay, one more time, won't take me long. Okay, that's enough of that, let's see. Let's go inside just for fun, so. Let's see if I can feel heat coming out of there. No, because I don't run the heat. Oh, almost never run the heat. How cold does it have to be for you to run the heat? One. Okay, so there you go. That's a pretty good spacing. I like that. And uh, when I get all this done, that's going to be uh, dark here in a while. And there's the pile over there I'm going to use. So let's, let's cut the other one. And we got to bring the lights in. Uh, and then I'm going to tape them up and get the get the glue going, the glue gatch. Okay. Okay, two holes. It's like Christmas again, huh? So let's get them lights up in there, and I get the hot glue going. I've been cleaning my house too. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Don't you like keeping these things? It can be hard to get out sometimes, but I don't have to worry about that. Well. Because I got to, because uh, I'm done <laughs> with that segment anyway. So my lights are right here. And uh, got a little bit more touching up to do there. The sound of things to come here. So step in the sink. And uh, I don't know if I've done something wrong, huh? I hate when it does that. It's okay. So there are my two holes. Uh, they'll show us in a minute and here are my two lamps i got one wire longer than the other i've got shrink tube and everything else on them things so they're fine because the wire is going to be going off this side over to an outlet that i put in for the uh, spa like i think i said earlier so we're going to take i need both hands so i'm going to tape those up there i got the glue got the glue gun going so uh this is going to take a minute to get this going <coughs> And then you, once again, have a seat in the sink. I haven't done that since I was a baby, I don't think. <laughs> well, it's not turned the water around the top of my shoes there. Make sure that's off. Okay, okay. Okay, I can reach it pretty easy. Alrighty, so they're taped into place. And we're going to go out here now. glue going I'll just show you what it looks like well I don't know, maybe I can do this I think she might have been out here long enough all right let's uh, not knock my drill over or get hot glue in my hair I ain't done that in weeks okay I got a bunch of glue gun glue sticks in my pocket so here it is looking like that so I'm more or less just gonna fill that look there goes a drip all right so I'm gonna just sort of I filtered in there so it won't uh, come running out on the on the tile in there. So, all right, boy, well, I think you get the gist of this, and just do it a little bit at a time so it'll cool off and uh, become more stable. So, all right. All right, I think y'all get that. I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Took about four sticks, maybe five. These are the little short sticks, gorilla sticks. They're about half as big as ones you usually get. So you never seen anything like that before, have you? A successful event in using a hot glue gun is not getting burned. That's pretty good. That is like filled with glue. And if it burns out, I'll just I'll get it out. Um, that's why I got LEDs. It's supposed to last 22.3 years if you use them an hour every day for every fourth day or something like that. But there you go. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. I wouldn't mess with this thing for probably half an hour because that's a lot of glue. Get that uncle. Gosh, can't get it out of there. Well, let's go over here then. One's as good as two. 
you can make a mess up there because unless you got Andre the Giant coming over to visit, nobody's going to ever see that. You can paint over it if you really felt like it. So, and there they are. No heat, no heat. No glue. I dripped out of there. Just leave those alone. And uh, well, pretty soon this evening we'll be checking them. And uh, that'll give me time to do this tile work. So just leave those alone and let those cure up entirely. And make sure you get all around your open wood with the glue. And uh, that'll just kind of make things better. So I know. I was just, I thought of it this morning and I wanted to do it. So there they are. <laughs> I hope the LED heat doesn't make them fall out. I know some of you thought of that already. But I don't think it will. We'll find out later. But uh, I don't know. Just one of them things you got to risk. This bloody thing here gets hot enough to really, really hurt you. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, but if it is, I'll, I'll deal with it at that time. So uh, you can tell I put some glue right there to kind of hold them in a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. If something happens, I'm going to run them for a couple hours tonight. And by then you should know. But I don't know, the sun comes up here, but it never gets that high. Uh, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. That's a lot of stuff, so we'll see how it works. This kind of reminds me, if you, uh, if you look back in my catalog, you'll see that I got my FLIR. And I checked the heat on an LED lamp. Not this particular kind. Ouch. <laughs> with uh, that particular kind right there. And I think it went up like three or four degrees, so I'm not too not too scared of that melting any glue. But like I say, if it does, I'll work something else. I'll fill it up with Bondo. Will Bondo fix it right up? Okay, let's do some tile work. This is going to be better. Uh, that's my first piece of bull nose I'm putting in there of that mesa. And I'm going to work my way up a little bit. Too bad I don't have some light here, huh? Well, I do. I'm just not going to turn them on yet. Still got a couple hours till it gets completely dark. I can't wait to fire this thing up. Get some of this tile work done and so we can kind of get a look at what it's going to look like. But that's better already. And in the morning, it's still so bright back there because of this. And I'm a very low light guy. So I'm looking forward to kind of toning this down. So I got to go out there and set up for 45. I got to cut that piece that goes at the bottom and I already got it marked. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, that's my, my cracky thumb things. So let's uh, go see. I'm just going to let you stick with me. The realism of it all, huh? So we're going to do what? Uh, so there it is. I'm going to turn this lamp off and that lamp off. It's like a day without sunshine, isn't it? A little bit of starlight out there. I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to get my, my torch here of a flashlight. Uh, okay. So yeah, I was cutting tile, so y'all didn't, y'all didn't see me do that, because that's just evil. Okay, I'm going to put you up here. My camera's telling me it's low light. What do you think? Uh, whew. I see a doggone thing. Oh, do, 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 do. oh here we go. I heard the timer start. So, okay, let's see, I got my lariat there, so here we go, and uh, so I know where this is, ready? Okay, so this is from outside. Wow! It's kind of bright, isn't it? It's okay. I've got to step over my little built-in trip, trip hazard here. Let's just see what that's like. Now, of course, I'm going to be hanging that shade back up. And uh, so there that is. Whew. 
That is entirely too bright. <laughs> Maybe it won't be too bad when I get the uh, the uh, tiles in there and the shade up and all that. I got to find a 12 volt uh, uh, dimmer uh, potentiometer. Don't want to for corn snakes. That's pretty good. I like the way that one's tilted in on the right a little bit. Uh, I like it. To be honest with you. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, I tell you, I'm not going to post this tonight. Let's look, see what it looks like completed and see if I can I, I get, get some more Gorilla Glue. Imagine that. So I'm working on all this. I've got a little bit of that fanciness in there. This, uh, that kind of ropey caulk stuff. Ropey caulk, ropey tile. Yeah, I'm ropied. That's my problem. Okay, so we're not going to we're not going to end here. We're going to uh, do our work. That's got to sit overnight. The tiles that I've done because it's pretty precariously perched there. So twelve volt dimmer. Let me go on uh, dot com and see what I can find. But that's what it looks like. It lights up the whole flipping room, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that way down. Still like it though. Better than the dark shadows with Barnabas Collins. Okay, it's been running for a while. Why do you do this to me? You make me suffer. Okay, so I was worried about the heat and melting. The uh, hot glue. So let's just take a look here. Uh, 83. That's a little hotter than that other bulb I spoke of earlier. I don't think that's going to do anything. Because that's just like a hot day. Yeah, that looks red, but you can see that it's just, I don't think that's going to be hot enough to uh, be a problem. It's not It's not going to fall and break or anything. 90-something. Okay, I don't think that's going to be an issue, uh, especially spread out over such a, uh, and I don't know how hot it is up on the high side, and I don't care. So we'll just see if it works, you know. I, I did not think that this was going to be terrible. Now, you know, and I know, I don't know, you know, that's a good point. How hot does a hot glue gun get? Oh, I might just have to go do that. So what I did was, I, I know I'm kind of excited, but I just put my hand on this. And it's, it's uh, not even warm, really, to the touch. Um, so let's go out here. I plugged in the, uh, don't, don't drop the flare. All right. Let's just see how hot the glue gun gets. Hot glue gun. I bet, what do you, I, I'm thinking, uh, 193. Ooh, hotter than that. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I saw it jump up pretty high there. I thought it got hot. Well, I guess 193 would be a little bit too much. <laughs> Crazy. Well, 130. I don't know, I just felt, because when it burns you, it hurts, <laughs> you just kind of subconscious, oh, 109, what? I was, I thought I was wrong, 193, I saw it flash up there. Let's just sweep up there. Well, daggum, I was more right than I thought I was. I didn't think it would go anywhere near 200. I thought maybe 180 or 90. And we're outside. It must be 45 degrees. Well, we all saw it happen. 
So that's how hot hot glue gets. Whew. Don't want that on you. See, oh, that's well, 45. Oh. Let's turn it back on again. So it's 45 out here. It's on a hot summer day. It might it might get hotter than that. How? Oh. 200 and what? 300 degrees? Well, I ain't gonna worry about them lights falling out. That's for sure. That removes any problems there. Okay, Fleer's kind of, uh, kind of wonderful. I love her. Oh, look at that, the water holding heat. Well, that wood, that's my distilled water for car stuff. Okay, well, let's not forget to, uh, unplug this thing. Oh. Okay, more tomorrow. Film at 11. Uh, lights went off. I don't want the lights to go off. Oh, I kind of want those to... Oh, that wasn't good. Don't be slamming that around. I want to keep those lights on. Okay. So we're going to unplug the gun. Okay, well, enough. Sure is neat. I bet it looks good from down the road. If anybody was down the road. Can you believe it? I finally got this thing. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a panel thing. Well, that's perfect for what I want to use it for. It's not sling it across the room. So this is what this is. Uh, oop, and there's a couple of screws. <laughs> All right. There's what we're looking for right there. And I'll install it and uh we will uh we will see how it works. Okay, well that moves around, that ain't good. Guess we'll see if it moves around when you move the knob. Yeah, that ain't good. I have to put, <laughs> I don't know. Why wouldn't they make that? Why wouldn't they put a little glue on that? I don't know. I will be putting an amen on a couple of different videos tonight. Uh, finishing the shower, finishing this, and I'm going to be bringing the axle back. So there's the potentiometer up there. There are my two lights. I've already tested it, but let's see what it looks like at night. Wait for those. They're set to come on, but I'm gonna go make them come on, and uh, let's let's just do it right now. Just got all kind of things going here to wire that thing in. I'm gonna let you decide how you want to wire that in. Uh, it's uh, you know my I, I know this well enough to do it in the dark. It'll be light in a second though. Look, there you go. I made a little table for it today and everything, so. That's kind of cool. I'm enjoying that. Only took me a few minutes. I had some old brackets out there. So this is what she looks like, boy. It's cold and damp. Misty and it's raining. So there's what it looks like. And uh, we're going to we're gonna turn that way down. So we're going to do this final shot. And then I'm done with this project entirely. <laughs> and I'm done with a bunch of projects entirely. Because i got to start concentrating on that axle. So there you go. Let's back off and look at it. And uh, turn, turn all the lights off. And show you what I'm going to have as ambiance. Okay. Last shot. Let's turn him down a little. Okay, that's better. Okay, now we got it. Look at that. There you go. Nice. Whoa. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just loving that. So let's look, put Moo Cow back up here. Mm. Okay, there's Moo Cow. And there's my mortise and pestle. And uh, I used to make spices and stuff with uh Got to start right there. Got to vacuum all that out of there. Oh, baby. 
I am loving that. That is so pretty. And uh, I couldn't have, couldn't have asked for more. It was a lot of trouble. I see it looks like outside. There's other. I've got other projects going. You might not believe that. But there's what it looks like there. And uh, very, very nice. There's my new sodium lamp. I was at Lowe's the other day. And they, this, they had these like uh, New York City sodium lamp for, they're clearing them out for $11. Baby, I'll take that. So that's a whole different project. Just wired up. Put a switch, put a switch in the house. So uh, let's let's go out here and see what it looks like out away from that sodium lamp. There you go. You can see my old towel, my tile cutter, and everything. That is just beautiful. I'm I can't be more happy. So I guess I could be more happy because you could give me a thumbs up and a subscribe to this thing. <laughs> that would make me a little happier, but I appreciate you watching no matter what. No matter if you don't subscribe, I still appreciate it. So there you go. Oh, I can't stop looking at it. It's just so pretty, that green tile that matches the tile on the top of the bay window over there. I'm trying to do tie-ins here. And, uh, all right, well, that's going to be it. Uh, so happy. Subscribe. Thanks a lot. Try this yourself. Save yourself a couple of grand. <laughs> and enjoy yourself. Learn how to do something fun. Oh, i got to seal up that uh, stuff at the top of the uh, blind. I don't like that light leaking through. That bothers me. So I'll seal that up. I'll have to get some uh, something to do that with. I'll come up with something. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.